page 10 of the Mel Bay grade one. This is the page that trips everybody up, uh, every beginner, I should say. Um, first up here, you got three, four time. They're talking about three beats per measure. If you see a three over a four in uh, the beginning of the uh, music, you got three beats per measure. And uh, if you see four, four, it's four beats, right? Two, four, it's two beats. Dotted half note, they introduce the dotted half note. A dot placed behind a note increases its value by one half. So here they show you a dotted half note. Half of a half note is one. So add that on to a half note. You have three beats per dotted half note. Okay, the Merry Men. The Merry Men is uh, in the first two measures. Here's a little trick I tell all my students. In the first two measures, you have uh, all of your notes that you just learned, G, F, E, D, C, B, in a row. So, if you can see how I wrote that down, you got G, F, E, D, C, B. What I do is I write E string, B string above it, so you don't have to keep looking back into the page, the, the last page. Um, and I write fret and finger, and I go three one zero three one zero. That indicates your frets and your fingers. What fingers you're using? So let's give it a shot. Let's try the Merry Men. I'll play it for you right now. Okay, three beats per measure. So I'm counting the three, and then I'm beginning on one. Ready? One, two, three. G, F, E, D, C, B, C, 2. You have a dotted half note G. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Second line. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Last note, C, two, three. Okay, that's the Merry Men. Merry Men is a lot easier than Frolic. Why? Because Frolic is scattered. So I can tell you that for a fact. That's what trips every, every student up I've ever taught over the past 20 some years. For all it, or the Merry Men, you'll see that a lot of the measures repeat themselves. Up here, you can repeat it down here, and this is the same as that. Frolic is just very scattered. So, if you can see Frolic here, I'll play that for you. Okay, Frolic goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. course you don't need to play it as fast of a tempo when if you have trouble with it uh like almost all of my students do in the beginning you can start it off like one two three four one two three four one like that also if you haven't noticed i did not move my hand one bit i just kept my thumb behind the second fret and I went. See that? You can play every single note in this book of the Mel Bay Grade One without moving your hand 
one bit. So you shouldn't be going, you know, you shouldn't be going all over the place. Just keep it in one spot. Okay, let's do EB real quick. EB is a lot easier. Uh, a lot of the notes do repeat themselves. So um, I'll play this one for you so you can hear what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, hope that helps. Uh, you just did uh, page 10 right here. So that's a crucial page. The next page after that is the third G string. So that would be G and A. Open and middle finger on second fret. All right. Hope that helps and uh, have fun with it. And let me know if you have questions down in the comments.